What's going on everybody, your boy Juan Valdez back with another video and yeah, I got Pluto here with me. He's going up fast, so some of you guys have watched some of my other videos, you may have already seen, uh, you may have saw him as just a puppy, but he's getting big now, he's three months old and he's learning pretty fast. Let me show you guys, I have to show you guys this. No, no, sit, sit, paw. Good boy, good boy. So he's you guys that are brand new to my channel, welcome on over to the VFAM. The VFAM is a family of individuals that are striving to do a lot more than what society has offered us to do. Now, if you guys want to see a lot more videos of me sharing some of the mistakes I made along the way with my Shopify dropshipping business, mistakes that you guys can look out for, make sure to drop a like on this video. Of course, any questions you have along the way, make sure to drop them in the comments below and I'll be responding to you guys. Let's get right into it. One of the first mistakes I made that cost me thousands of dollars was not knowing the numbers, right? And what I mean by that is when it comes to running a business, but specifically a Shopify dropshipping business, you're gonna have product expenses, of course, advertising expenses, monthly expenses, and of course your profit. That's what we're all here to do, make money. So obviously you wanna have an idea of all the numbers, where everything is going, what you're paying for, and a whole lot more. But one mistake specifically that I made was overpaying per purchase on all the products and sales that I was making. If I have a product that I sell for $34.95, and let's say the product costs $10, now, I also have advertising costs, which would be per purchase with Facebook ads, which is another $10. So I'm left with profit about $14.95, right? That's usually how the breakdown would be. The mistake that I made was letting the ad run when it was costing me about $20 per purchase, you know, for that same product which only left me with $4.95. Now this is obviously a huge mistake and it can happen a lot. It can happen easier, a lot easier than you guys think because once, you're once you find a hot product and you start scaling, obviously you see all the sales coming in so you get excited, you wanna keep the sales coming. You don't check on too many things because you know you're crushing with the sales, but it can happen actually very quickly, right? And it can happen, you know, that's why you constantly have to monitor your Facebook ads, you have to monitor all your numbers because if you don't catch it early enough, it can cost you a lot more later on. The fact that I'm only profiting $4.95 when I had other products that were profiting a lot more, I could have uh, allocated the budget that I was using for this specific product for the other products that I was advertising and I'd be able to, I would have been able to make a lot more profit with the other products, right? So that's a huge mistake you guys, you know, should be looking out for. When you guys are going through your setting up your Excel sheets, whatever the case may be, you have an idea of everything that's costing you money, everything that's making you money, and where all the money is going, because again, simple mistakes like these can cost you a lot of money in the long run, right? Think about if this was going on for a lot longer than what I had let it run for. If I don't have a huge budget and I'm, and I'm focusing on advertising on a product that is only making me $4.95, when I could be advertising on another product that's making me double or triple the profit, you know, why not allocate the budget that I have for this product where I'm not making as much profit onto the other products and scale them a lot more. So just one thing to keep in mind, that's one of the biggest mistakes for sure that I made early on. Honestly, once you take the time to do this, when it comes down to taxes, which I'm, I should probably make a complete other video on, let me know if you guys think I should make a video on taxes. I already know it's gonna be super important. But when it comes down to taxes, if you already have a breakdown of all your numbers, it's just gonna save you time because regardless, you're gonna have to break down of your numbers anyway because the, when it comes down to time for you to do your taxes, you're gonna need to be able to show all your different expenses, your profit and all that great stuff. So you might as well you know, do it now and already have an idea of all the numbers before tax season comes around because you're gonna have to do it regardless. The next mistake is huge and it was simply not communicating with my supplier, right? And this is important because literally your suppliers, those are gonna be like the broskies, right? For me specifically, this mistake cost me thousands of dollars because what happened is I had a hot product, I was advertising, I was crushing it, I'm super excited. But then at the end of the week, after I'd already done so many sales throughout the week, the weekend came along and I had reached out to the supplier. They had told me that they had ran out of the product and I was gonna have to find another supplier. This was honestly super annoying because of course I was depending on them to fulfill all the orders that I had and I already had orders that were supposed to be going out. So the fact that they ran out just honestly cost me a ton for many reasons. I'll explain to you guys why. So first off, I already had customers that were waiting for products, right? So usually when you find a hot product and you have so many orders coming in, again, it already takes you a lot of time to fulfill the orders, right? So obviously you're not fulfilling them right away. I do bulk CSV drop shipping, which is I wait till the end of the day and then I submit an Excel sheet to the supplier for them to look at all the orders 
then give me a final number that I have to pay for. I pay for the order once and then they fulfill all the orders. So that does take a little bit longer than the usual when you just fulfill it at the end of the day or a few hours after. That takes a little bit longer. So that was a problem and a huge problem. And the reason why is because I had a, a good amount of upset customers and what was happening is the customers that was waiting for so long to get those products that had already emailed in and inquired about their products and you know realize that these products their orders just got pushed back they started leaving negative comments on the ads that we were running and on our social media plate pages so that's obviously for those of you guys that run ads that you've seen like when people comment negatively on your ads or on your social media pages that right there turns other potential customers off and it literally does cost you sales and conversions right you want to make sure that if you ever have a hot product you have not only one supplier that you're in good contact with but you also you also have a backup just in case right yeah you want to make sure you have more than one supply and also if you have more than one supplier you can actually work them against each other negotiate and say hey i've been working with you guys for a while but i have this new supplier that just reached out to me and he says he can do this price can you guys beat that or match that i'm thinking about working with him you don't want to be cocky about it but that's one thing you can do i'll probably make a video going over specifically how to negotiate with suppliers but that's one thing you can also do if you have two suppliers it's always better to have more than one option for anything right just in case because you never know what can happen so that mistake right there cost me thousands of dollars this one it probably cost me the least just because I was able to come in contact with the customers and say like hey sorry about the delay we're just been super backed up and a whole lot more this feature automatically collects emails for you it's honestly it's a simple easy feature to not have because it doesn't come turned on at all with any Shopify account you do have to go in and turn it on yourself the emails obviously is where I generate a ton of free money from some of you guys may have watched you know, so my videos going over the strategy that we have for, you know, really making a lot of money on the back end, how we really focus mainly on the back end, not even the front end. So the fact that I didn't have this feature on probably up until, you know, my third month that I was drop shipping is insane because I literally went through and I had so many, you know, customers that came in or so many potential customers that came in that never ended up checking out. And I honestly had no other way to follow up with them because I had no emails. You wanna make sure you have this turned on. Obviously for you guys at first, it may not be like the biggest thing, but you wanna make sure you definitely have all the emails that you can get. It's important to have this feature turned on and this is actually what it looks like right here. So this is the setting that's gonna be in your Shopify store. It's gonna be right here. You wanna make sure that Usually it comes by by default customer does does doesn't agree to receive promotional emails. You want to have it so by default customer does agree to receive promotional emails and customers who accept will be added into the that's what it says on here customers who accept will be added to the accepts marketing group. You want to make sure you have that turned on because that option right there I'm telling you guys, you're gonna thank me later. You're gonna see how your emails will start going up and the amount of emails you are, you're collecting also starts going up. And it's honestly huge because again, the strategy you guys should be implementing is that you shouldn't be only focused on the customers that you get when they first buy. It should be really having a backend system in place and being able to follow up with these customers and then getting them to buy more than once and not only more than once, but you know, have a relationship built with them. That way they, you know, they open up your emails, they trust your store and a whole lot more. They're giving you reviews. That's really the the, the advantage of having a backend system because let's say even if you get a customer that buys once and they don't buy again from any other email, but you're able to get them to leave you a review. The more reviews you have, the more chances you have of making even more sales because people love seeing other people's reviews, right? So that's the power of having a backend system in place. You can get repeat customers, you can get reviews and a whole lot more. So I hope you guys got vibes from this video. Again, if you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Any questions you guys have about everything that I went over, make sure you drop them in the comments below. I'll get back to you guys. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the V fam. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.